Hi. We're in the middle of a heat wave here, basically. So I threw on my Coors Light shirt and bought a whole bunch of pale lagers. Um, and I'm going to try to do a blind tasting. So this one time is kind of weird because I have two non-alcoholics. Um, Bitburger Drive. Bitburger macro producer from Germany, but I love Bitburger. It's a really good pilsner. It's real cheap even in America. Penn's Best, which is this weird non-alcoholic independent, but basically macro brewery. I don't really know much about them. Kind of weird. And then, I guess I'll line these up here. And then Narragansett Light. So, sort of craft macro in America. Uh, Narragansett's really good. Haven't had the light in a while. And then Kraft Pilsner. This one actually is even like naturally carbonated in the can. Drug Sunshine Pills, which I haven't had in a long time either. So, we'll see there. Well, slightly different colors. This one on the left here is the palest. That's super pale. This one's got some color to it. This one, I'm betting this one might even be the Trogue Sunshine Pilsner from the way the carbonation is looking. Um, this one's pretty pale. Maybe I'll do them in order of a uh, color. I think that's, I think that's right. So, the palest first. This, I don't know. I, just, I don't know. Is this going to be the Narragansett? Right here, Narragansett has a little bit of a malt flavor. That smells pretty good. Smells like a classic uh, German Pilsner. I'm thinking this is actually probably the Bitburger. And do they use real hops in here? They list 72 calories. That's great, but sometimes they list the ingredients to tell you if they use hops and or hop extract. I don't know, but it smells nice. Very hoppy. Huh. I'm pretty sure it's not the Trogue Sunshine, though. You know, quite bitter. I like that. But it seems to be lacking something. And this is also one of the 0, 0.0 alcohol-free beers, like the Heineken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what this one is, but I'm surprised by how bitter and hoppy it is. It's really nice. And it's, uh, the Best Buy says 10-9-2020. I'm not sure if that's October or September. Sometimes they do dates differently in a different order, but this is really nice. I've been trying to find good alcoholic beers, and this might be the best pilsner out there. So this one I was thinking is the Trogues, or no, no, this wasn't the Trogues Sunshine. I don't know what this one is from the look. Oh, musky. Might be the Narragansett. Especially because it, well, it still has like a pretty nice head there, so it might be you know a real a real beer. Corny maybe. Yeah, it reminds me of the hams. That's what I've been drinking lately. At least the that's been my macro beer of choice. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know. That could be the pen's best. But this one's supposed to be really bad. Let me just jump into this one. Not much aroma on this one at all. Interesting. Yeah, maybe this is the pen's vest. It smells really like nothing. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> a little metallic -y. there's a little bit of a, a hint of a citrusy quality that fades away immediately. And then a little bit of a spiciness, but wow. Wow. <laughs> this is not great. It's extremely cheap. I got a six pack of this for like um, $3. Yeah, 70 calories. So it's less than the Bitburger. All right, and then this is the one I'm pretty sure is the Trogue Sunshine. It is a nice sunshiny color. It's actually got a little bit of a bright golden hue to it. They say straw golden color. Ooh, that's really, that's very, very aromatic. Wow, almost, 
almost skunky. This is, this is a pretty fresh can. Well, let's say the, the freshest buy. Hmm, actually, I think that they have a freshest buy a date of four months, which is really good, especially for a lager. But it almost smells like I'm getting some skunkiness from this. It might just be like the intensity they say on their Zotz Harrisbrucker. Unless I switched it, and this is the, is the Trogue Sunshine, and, and then this is the Bitburger that happened to get skunk through the bottle. <laughs> wow. That's one. I'm, I'm pretty sure about these two. But. Damn. I might be getting the literally 0% alcohol one mixed up with the 4.5%, the strongest one and the, and the least strong one, because like the Narragansett's around 4. Mm -hmm. I'm quite bitter. Yeah, maybe this is the Bitburger. All right, because there's, there's like no sweetness in this one. Uh, definitely yeah, and very spicy and dry it's funny I started with this one I thought it was going to be I got them basically mixed up I thought this darker one was going to be the craft one or maybe the first one is actually alcoholic yeah, definitely sweeter more body hmm. well in terms of favorites definitely the two on the outside this is the least favorite one. Maybe we'll just come back. Just whoa! I don't know what is in that beer. They don't tell you anything on there. And then this is the one that probably never get to like. Yeah, American macros against other kinds of pale lagers and pilsners are just really obvious. So yeah, let's, I'm just not sure on these two. Um, with the lacing of this one, yeah, this, this is probably the alcoholic one. Yeah, it does have a nice, nice feel. Little tiny bubbles. All right, I'm just going to say this is the Sunshine Pilsner. Yes. Finding that at first, I was like, oh, it's not alcoholic. And then this is the Hum, or Narragansett, yep. And the pen, yep. Got it all right, and this is making me have to burp. Very carbonated beers, but yeah, it would have been harder if this one hadn't been slightly skunked. Because obviously it's the only bit bottled beer. Yeah, this would be really good if it weren't skunked. Not too bad. I wish they would have cans of this, but yeah, this is very nice. It, it, this has really big hop aroma. It's it's what you expect from a bit bit burger. It'd be good to compare this with um a real bit burger maybe and um excuse me. Yeah and especially if they're not they're not skunked but interesting the trogues yeah is is the palest of them all. That's not what you would think. They do say straw golden but there's no there's no golden here. This is pale, pale, pale straw. And it does have a nice fruity, slight citrusy sweetness thing. Oh, that's a good beer. And really cheap. Got this four pack that apparently is naturally carbonated. It says right there secondary fermentation creates natural carbonation. And this is, I guess, for eight bucks, no, seven bucks a four pack. I'm definitely going to keep buying this, but it's kind of a fun experiment. Um, especially for, for people who don't really like pale lagers and pilsners, this, this would be super duper hard, but. I'm obsessed with them and drink them all the time. Um, but some of these non-alcoholic beers are impressing me. This is good. The pen's best. Don't know if I'd recommend it. <laughs> um, but this is kind of fun. Bye.